Hi there, Scorpio. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio for the week of the 27th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button. Uh, it's 10 bucks and you get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And I'm also running a couple of specials on readings. Um, you can find those below in the description box. Okay, so looking at the overall energy here, I see you with the King of Cups here. Uh, that could definitely be Scorpio energy. Um, this is typically a Pisces, could also be a Cancer. So either your person maybe has water in their chart or this is you. But there's also a sense of like pulling back energetically from somebody or someone pulling back from you. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is like giving to somebody else. You can see like the one hand is outstretched. The other one is pouring coins into it. That's giving someone time, energy, effort. Um, investing in a like a connection, investing in another person. So there's a pullback here. I'm not sure if you pulled back or your person did. We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy, which is really about kind of going within, um, trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, you may be consulting with someone older and wiser than you, consulting your higher self, uh, doing a lot of self-reflection, self-actualization. You can see the light that's around her. Anytime you see light in tarot, it's about clarity. And we've got this Four of Cups, which is really kind of being out of alignment. I'm not happy with my choices. I'm not happy with my options. Um, I'm not really sure what I want. So there's kind of a lack of clarity here. Everything feels like it's at a standstill. I don't know if this is your energy or the person that you've been dealing with. Uh, let's take a look at your person. Okay, so we have the Light Seers Tarot on the table. I'm going to be using the Zodiac Tarot to clarify. At the end, I'll pull cards for your person, um, for what they're feeling, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. This High Priestess, it's Pisces energy. So again, there could be a Pisces in here somewhere. But this is someone who's very quiet, um, kind of secretive. Sometimes that's a card about using your intuition. We've got the three of wands, being patient, waiting for your ships to come in. Sometimes that's a manifesting card. It can also be a long distance relationship card. So let's is going on here mm, page of swords let me arrange these okay so the page of swords is aquarius gemini libra energy there could be an air sign somewhere in the mix page of swords is also like i'm curious about you i'm wondering what you're up to i'm thinking a lot about you maybe i'm checking your social media or asking other people about you um, this person may be keeping an eye on you. I also tend to look at the um, the artwork on the tarot cards. The Three of Wands, like I'm taking a look over here. And if you notice on the High Priestess, there are eyes on top of her eyelids, even though she's not in communication. Um, I brought it closer so you could see there's eyes on there. I think this person is watching you. I think they're keeping an eye on you. Um, you feel like you're in like a stalemate or like, yeah, like a stalemate or a standoff with somebody. We have the hanged man, more Pisces energy. Um, again, she's sort of waiting, watching. Sometimes this is getting a new perspective on a situation. So... Did the two of you like have a breakup or did you just pull back energetically? Maybe they pulled back here. But they're definitely like pulled back and taking a look at you and just keeping an eye on the situation. See, we have the world in reverse. Let me arrange these. 
Okay, so the star is Aquarius energy. Um, it's being wishful, hopeful, optimistic. Even given the three of wands here, you could be manifesting this, this relationship or this person is manifesting it. Um, they're very hopeful here. They're hoping that something will happen between the two of you. The star is also like a longing card. Like, if you think about having a crush on a Hollywood star, like maybe I'm not going to make this happen. Um, this person seems so distant from me. But this person is definitely like energetically holding on to you. We've got the world in reverse, which is unfinished business, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So technically that is your energy here. Um, again, there could be a long distance connection. Let's Let's clarify this. Some of you may feel this energetically, that they're just paying attention to you. They feel tied and bound to you, eight of swords. That is self-limiting behavior, self-sabotage. It's someone who feels kind of stuck. Given the hanged man showing up here, it feels like this relationship is stuck. But they haven't given up on this. Three of Cups, they're looking for a reconciliation. Um, they're looking for a celebration, a reason maybe to get back together with you. It's like they're biding their time here. Okay. We've got the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is someone who is in love with you. Again, Pisces energy there. They want a new love cycle with you. They want to repair this with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is often like adjusting the way I work on something because it's not giving me the results that I'm looking for. I think this is someone who would like to resurrect this relationship. Um, but you may not know what you want exactly. You may be trying to figure out what decisions you can make. Um, perhaps this person hasn't known what they've wanted in the past and they may be figuring it out with that hermit energy and the hanged man showing up. But I would say that you're on a break from this person. You're in a holding pattern, but you're not completely done. If you are completely done with this person, then this is not your reading. Definitely. Energetically, the two of you are still inter intertwined here. Let's do one more and then let's do feelings as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say here. See, Ace of Swords. I think you can expect them to kind of cut through all of this, maybe to give you some truth or an explanation. Um, you won't be in this holding pattern forever. All right, hold on. So what are their current feelings for you? <laughs> the Lovers. Well, that's kind of a mic drop card. The lovers is Gemini energy. It's feeling like the two of you are meant to be. Um, that's all about love and an intense connection to someone feeling like a soulmate. They're two birds of a feather here, quite literally. They feel like you're the one. What about their thoughts here? I feel you even though we are apart. What are they currently thinking or what is something that they need to say? I regret lying to you. I scared myself that day. This person may have messed up massively and that made you sort of rethink this connection. Um, maybe they weren't completely truthful with their feelings. I don't know. It'll be different for everyone. I don't need your approval. Hmm. We have, I wish I could take back my words. We have, I hope you're happy for me. I feel you leaving me behind. I look for you everywhere. So... I don't know that this is someone who brought you their best energy. I wish I could take back my words. 
I regret lying to you. I feel you leaving me behind. And then we have like, I don't need your approval. Um, they may have lashed out at you here. I feel you even though we're apart. I hope you're happy for me. I scared myself that day. Um, they may have like done something really bad here. And it made you question this connection or it made you question them. It's almost like they were acting very childishly or kind of um, lashing out for some reason. And there is some shadowy stuff here. You can see three of the black and white cards. Um, well, the black background. That's always uh, shadowy energy. I think that this person has struggled maybe. They don't necessarily tell you everything that's going on. There's some cleanup to do here. That could be part of what that hermit and hanged man energy is about. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be. If you would like to join me in the extended, click the join button. If you'd like to order your own reading, you can do that in the description box. All right. Blessed be.